Yes, my peoples, it's T. And I'm Sonia. And today, our video is jam-packed with quizzes. As you may have noticed, our channel is a play on words. Jam-packed meaning jam-packed with loads of content, but also jam and pack, which is our backgrounds. So I'm from a Pakistani background and he's from... A Jamaican background. And we're both born and bred in the UK. So today we are playing three quizzes. We'll be doing a Pakistani one, one on Jamaica, and then finally we'll be doing a British one to see how British we really are. Yes. So I'm sure it'll be loads of fun and we'll learn a lot along the way too. Let's get it. So the first one we're doing is the Pakistani one. So let's get started. Yes. Cool. So let's enter the pin. I bet I'm going to be really bad at this because <laughs> I don't know what questions are going to pop up. Let's see, let's see how, um, how Pakistani I am. <laughs> cool, let's get started. No cheating. <laughs> what is the capital of Pakistan? Hmm. I feel like I've just put, put the wrong one in. Isn't it? I clicked the wrong one. Oh, I did do Islamabad, but wait. Oh, okay, yeah, ignore me. I'm getting confused. I clicked the wrong one already. Correct. <sighs> I should have known that one. That, was, that one was pretty basic. It's a great Even start. I had to second guess. The things I knew that, but I just, I just, the pressure got to me. I was second guessing myself. Though. What is the primate city of Pakistan? Sorry, what? What? What does that mean? Okay. Um... I'm just, I'm just gonna... I don't know what that means, so I'm gonna just click anything. Oh. Why did I not know that? What? Wrong. In the comments, tell us, what is a primate city? Like, what does that mean? Yeah, does anyone even know? What does that mean? Okay. Well, I should've, should've came back there. Wow. What stage of the demographic transition is Pakistan in? <laughs> oh, no. This is a guess. Just, yeah, just go with anything. Don't even know what that means. Well, we both got it right. <laughs> Lucky guess. Stage two. <laughs> come on, I can come back. Let's go. What type of religion is this one? Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, I've selected my answer. I've locked it in. Let's go. I don't know what these mean. I think it's that one. Well done. <laughs> it would have been terrible if I got that one wrong. It would have been <laughs> Question five. The five pillars of Islam are charity, pilgrimage, fasting, decoration of faith, and prayer. True. Mm. I'm catching up. Jam has a streak of frequent answers. Okay. Yeah, boy. Come on. Yeah, let's hope he doesn't beat me. <laughs> That'd be quite disgraceful. Oh, it's getting close. Yes, it is. It's getting close. What? Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> the great majority of Pakistan are. Sh I don't know what the word is. Um, I think that's trying to say something else, but it it sounds like it's saying shites. <laughs> it, it does. It does. Wow. What? It wasn't spelled correctly. Wow. Well. The, lang the national language of Pakistan. Ooh. Ooh. I got it. I Come on. Yes. I got that right. I was close to selecting from Georgia. Uh, you know what? I don't know how I'm getting all these right because I have no idea, but I guess I'm just naturally smart and cultured. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, silence on the streak. Okay. Let's go. Question nine. Oh, there's 25 questions, quite a long one. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Whew. Uh, that was a complete guess, but English is used around the it's world. It's literally used pretty much everywhere. So. so, educated guess, which is not one of the major ethnic groups? Interesting. Not one of the major. Come on! Yes! I didn't know that one. Correct. I got it wrong. I got Correct. that. I got that right. I knew that one. Jam has overtaken Sardia. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. 
This is the Pakistani wow. culture. Just remember, this is the Pakistani culture quiz. And we have a Pakistani here. And I'm not. I'm obviously not a true Pakistani. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the largest canal based irrigation system in the world is located in Pakistan. Okay, interesting. I locked my answer in already. Oh, it's true. Oh, I could have taken the lead further, dear. That was just a guess. A bad one, but. Oh, I'm, le I'm learning a lot here. I'm learning a lot. Okay. If the rest of the questions is going to be difficult. Like Halfway what the hell? through. Halfway through. The most the common. Most the main source of crops in Pakistan is. Gotta be this one. I have no it's idea. Gotta be this one. It has to be this. What? I was gonna select wheat. I was gonna select wheat. I said rice. I clicked rice. I don't know why I chose rice. Because we love our rice. Ah, oh, the thing is, wheat what? was, wheat was literally in my in my brain. Wheat was just shaking, just wobbling. Like choose this, choose this. I didn't select it. <laughs> didn't select it. Okay. Come You're on. still on top though. Like what the hell? Come on. What type of land is Pakistan mainly made up of? Oh, interesting. So I've never been, so I have no idea. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna guess it's. You know what? Really? I need to stop second guessing what my brain initially goes towards. I don't know that, but I've been like three times. But I'm from like a small village and haven't really explored the country. So, in all fairness to me, how would I have known that? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Jam still unpacked, but it's still close. Jam still on top of me. Okay, what is the currency used in Pakistan? Okay. This one's. Uh, Difficult. <laughs> Rupee? Rupee. Yes. Come on. Ten questions to go. What is the population? Okay, this is going to be a guess. I don't even know. Oh, this is a guess. And it's quite a few here that are very close to each other. Mm. So it could be any. <laughs> Come on. 190 correct. Let's go. How about with 186? She got it wrong, unfortunately. I mean, who knows that though? That's just, it's just lucky guessing. Yeah, that, that question was a lucky guess. Um, yeah. But what that does is push me further it in does. front. That's terrible. I need to win the Jamaica one now. To all my Pakistanis <laughs> out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Around what percentage Sorry, of the population guys. growth rate is Pakistan? Percentage. Well, this is a never guess. Like, Population growth rate. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna choose three percent. Oh, two percent. So the reason why, you know, I won't even give you the reason why I thought it was three percent. Actually, I'm gonna give you the reason. Because there's loads of marriages in Pakistan, <laughs> so I thought population is surely gonna keep growing. That's why I selected four because they just people just love having babies. Exactly. But still on top. Let's go. Seventeen. What military alliance has Pakistan as its member? Hmm. Interesting. No idea. Well, gonna go to the one that looks the most, makes the most sense. Yeah. Yeah. Southeast Asia makes sense. Exactly. That's why I picked it. Process of elimination. There's still time for you to come back. There's seven questions left. Will I come back? Am I a true Pakistani? <laughs> <laughs> or is he? <laughs> What is the liter literacy rate of... See, I can't even say the word literacy rate. Literacy rate. <laughs> um, I don't know. Ooh, how many people can read and write in Pakistan? Probably not a lot. I'm going to... Okay. Well, oh, guess what? More than I thought. I got it right again. I have faith in you. I have <laughs> faith. 50%. Let's go. I'm further out in the lead again. Jamie's winning the Pakistan quiz. Let's go. Okay, this is going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, green and white, as you can see by green LEDs. Yeah. Let's go. Nice, nice. Damn. I need to Five to go. The most popular sport, this is going to be so difficult. It's obviously squash. It's obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm joking. Cricket. Let's go. Okay. I'm on a streak. All right, what is not a river that flows through Pakistan? Process of elimination, mine's locked in already. I have no idea about rivers. Pure genius. See? Now, let's, let's, let's unpack that a little bit. So I got that correct. 
and you got it wrong. Yeah, now, <laughs> let's unpack this one a little bit because the, the river now, everybody knows that's in Egypt. So that's obviously the I only- I don't know, I, I don't, I'm not really good at this stuff. It's the only one that's definitely not in Pakistan. That's why I selected it. All right, let's go. Further ahead, further ahead. I'm on a streak, come on. Looks like she's not gonna get to come back. Not gonna win, guys. Sorry to my fellow Pakistanis. <laughs> what is the traditional, I, okay. This one you probably get right, I have no idea. So I'm gonna, yeah, guest. Obviously you're gonna know that, come on. Why would I know that? Abaya is not traditional. I don't know what Abaya is. It's the fall. Ah, see, I learn something new every day. Thank you very much. See, she is. She's actually Pakistani. <laughs> she knows some stuff. <laughs> I know some bits of <laughs> Sugar cane is the most important cash crop of Pakistan. Well, that's false. Lovely. Maybe in Jamaica, not Pakistan. Cool. Um, Two questions, Two questions to go. Yeah, I think you've won this one. Agriculture contributes to. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you know man, what? I don't know. Locked in. Ooh. Ooh. I was going to choose that as well. I keep going against my own. All right. Final question. Let's Finale. go. It's all to play for. <laughs> Not. Pakistan is the world's seventh largest pool of scientists and engineers. I know this one. I know this one. Oh, it is? Yes, it is true. Screw. <laughs> well, well done to you. And let's go to Team the podium. Pakistani. <laughs> and in third place, we have? No one. And in second place, with 14 <laughs> out of 25, we have? Saudia. Damn. And with 18 out of 25, in first place, we have Jam. So you beat me T. Well. Yes. I don't know how I won that, but um, yeah. Wow. Put me on who wants to be a millionaire. That's all I'm saying. Ah, cool. Okay, well, clearly I'm not a true Pakistani. Nah, it's just a, it's just a little quiz. It's just yeah, a... it's, it's, I mean, some of those questions, I'm sure a lot of you Pakistanis, you can vouch for me and you can confirm that you probably don't know the answers as well. So exactly. Yeah, drop a comment below and let us know. Exactly. But now it's time to move on to the Jamaican one. Let's do it. Okay. Then... Now, I'm nervous. <laughs> Jamaica quiz. You're gonna get them all right. How many times have I been in Jamaica? Yeah, guess. you don't need to have gone there to know. No, I'm asking you guess. How many times do you think I've been in Jamaica? Oh, uh, twice. You are correct. See, it's a good, it's a good start already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good start already. That's not part of the quiz though, is it? <laughs> but yeah, um, let's see. Let me, um, let's see how much I know. It would be quite bad though if I get more questions right on this one than the Pakistani one. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Let's go! Oh, Jamaica! Go. Let's get it. Okay. When did Jamaica become an independent country? Oh. Oh. I know this one. I think. Yay! Yes! Good start. Good start from me. Good start. Uh, how do you know that? You guess? Yeah, it was a guess, and it seemed to be the most... An educated guess. The most, yeah, it was an educated guess. Well, just to give you guys a bit of facts here as well, I'm sure you guys probably already know, but obviously both Jamaica and Pakistan was um, owned essentially by the British Empire, um, and both countries now have their independence from the British Empire. What is the official language of Jamaica? Okay, everyone knows this. Chinese. Obviously Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> snap. Snappity snap. I'm still on top, but it's very close. One, <laughs> One point, point in it. Ooh. Yeah, but it's still what? Seven, 18. What are the colors of Jamaican flag? Oh no, this is. Oh, no. Yeah, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> she got it right. But I was still faster. Come on. I'm Jamaican so far. Very Jamaican. <laughs> Who took control of Jamaica in 1655? 16, 16, 1655. Ooh. I don't even know. 1655? Yeah, I literally just mentioned that, uh, that Britain took over. I know, but I thought, what if someone <laughs> another country did first? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. What is Jamaica's national bird? Yes. Come on. You know what? I'm more Jamaican than I thought. I don't know. 
Oh. She's just I don't, guessing. I don't even know what a Dr. Bird is. I've never heard of that. She's just guessing everything and getting it right. What is a Dr. Bird? I've never heard of a Dr. Bird. It's a bird. It's of a doctor kind. <laughs> okay. Jamaica is slightly smaller than which state in the United States? Yes, I know this as well. I don't well. know this one because I have no idea about the size. So I know I'm which states. I never ah. lucky guess. Fantastic. Wow. So obviously it's not going to be California because that's massive. That's... Yeah, I knew about that one, but I wasn't sure about the other one. Yeah. Well, lucky guesses are helping you along the way. Not too bad, yeah. You're more Jamaican than Pakistani. <laughs> so what far. sea is Jamaica in? Oh, this is a really difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> the Caribbean Sea, guys. Both got it right again. This is too close for my liking. Too close for my liking. Yeah, but I'm sure it's going to get difficult in a minute. Who's the first European to arrive in Jamaica? Oh, let me hide my phone for this one. Who's the first European to arrive in Jamaica? This is a very difficult question. <laughs> so, okay. I have no idea. All right, so let's unpack this a little bit. So, Sadia chose Ian Fleming. I don't know who that is. For anybody who knows who Ian Fleming is. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> you know how funny that is. <laughs> um, especially as you say Bo, Obviously, not European, and Bob Marley is not European. Yeah, I definitely knew about those two. And everybody who knows anything about history, Christopher Col Christopher Columbus was um, that was that guy. <laughs> I'm not um, big on history at all. Yeah, same, same to be honest. But hated it at school, and I don't really read about it to be honest. So, well, in all fairness. But look at this, a gap is opening up finally. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen. Come on. It's a good start though. What's the capital of Jamaica? Oh my days. Kingston. I need that one. Yes, let's go. <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> Jamaica to the world. What type of music is Jamaica in Jamaica? Oh, it's obviously hip hop. <laughs> Reggae. Jamaica to the world. Let's go. All my Jamaicans in the comments, listen, what's your favorite mega what's your favorite reggae song? I know I said that very British, but <laughs> <laughs> tell me in the comments below. What Jamaican is known for reggae music? Oh my days. Obviously, you saying both. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly Ann Fraser. Mm. You know who that is? No. Well, Doesn't sound very really Jamaican. Though. She's very Jamaican. She's a runner. Really? Who was the first European to visit Jamaica? Wait, what? It's the same question. <sighs> I was, hope, I was hoping she chose the wrong answer there. <laughs> it was the same question, very strange. I'm not sure who made this quiz, but fix up. So far though, Sadia is getting more questions consistently correct in this quiz than- Than I did in the Pakistan one. Yeah, interesting. Definitely. How many native snake species? Well, this is a bit, um, wow, specific. I have no idea. Lucky guess? Oh, <gasps> loads. I said nine. I said 11. <laughs> Both got it wrong. Oh no, I wanted a, I wanted a, a 20 out of 20. Who was the first female Prime Minister of Jamaica? I know. I know this. Let me um click this. Yes, make sure I hide my answer. No idea. Oh. That's the most Jamaican, Jamaican name there. Um, that's, how, that's how I knew to be fair. Come on. It's very close though. I'm not liking this. <laughs> Who was the first bad. Native Americans in Jamaica? Ooh, I learned, I, learned, I learned this quite recently to be fair, so I'm gonna select my answer now. I have absolutely no idea. Yes, the arrow works. No one said it would be easy, that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, four questions to go. What type of currency? Two they use in Jamaica, <laughs> two they use. Crazy. Oh, how do you know that? Because. <laughs> That side of the country world just uses dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Cool. The gap's opening up. Jam is on a streak, of course. Which state in the United States is oh, 600 miles on. north of what Jamaica? What question is that? It's an easy one. It's actually. 600 miles it's, north it's, of Jamaica. It's actually pretty easy. I have no idea where any of the states are on the map. I have absolutely no idea. Lucky guess again. I bet you get it right. Oh, you didn't. You chose Mississippi, did you? No, I chose, chose Texas. Of course. I have no idea where any of those are. Correct. Are. Once again, Florida. No idea. Florida. Cool. Who settled Jamaica? I don't know what that means, but um, 
I'm gonna do process of elimination here. I don't know what that means either. This, I don't know. Well, got it right. Christopher Columbus is in, in this quiz three times for some reason. Yeah, that's why I chose him. <laughs> I think this is the final question, is it? Oh, is it? Second to last oh. question. Let's go. Which crop did slaves help grow in Jamaica? Ooh, this could be a trick question. Oh, I gave the answer away in the last quiz. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I was listening. <laughs> you, learned, you learned something new. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <sighs> Fantastic. And the final question. Jamaica is known as a... Boom. Answer locked in instantly. Let's go. Genius. Oh, nice. Well, that's pretty easy. An island nation. Let's see what the damage is. So in third place, we have... <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> in second place, with 16 out of 20. Higher than the Pakistan quiz. No. Sadia and in third place with 19 out of 20, the only one question wrong is me. Jam, let's but go. But hold on, didn't I get 14 out of 18 on the Pakistan one? No, nope. so I got four wrong. No, no, you got 14 out of 25. Oh, out of 25. Oh, yeah. wow. So I'm more Jamaican than Pakistani, guys. Yes. Sorry to my Pakistanis. <laughs> Fully Jamaican, come on. 19 out of 20, let's go now. Now, cool. that's, now that's settled and we've learned a lot. Um, What's next on the agenda? So we are finally going to be doing the British one because we're both British born. So how British are we? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how we will do on this one. I bet this is going to have like such difficult questions, like very historical ones. So I'm not going to know anything. Because again, I... Not one for history, unfortunately. Yeah. Not into it. Never liked it at school as well. Absolutely hated it. Oh. I, was, I was always like, why are you teaching me stuff that happened 300 years ago? I don't care. <laughs> let's, yes, well, let's see how we both fare on this one. Um, this is the challenge. Obviously, of course, this was a challenge somewhat, I guess. Not really, it's more fun to learn, but Obviously, I, I won too, so I've already won the challenge. Um, but let's see if Sadia can come back and Probably win. Not. She, she, she should definitely be more British than me, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think so, because you know, you tend to know more about history and stuff. So mm. even though you think I'm more British than you, you'll probably, you probably know more than I do. Okay, <laughs> so what are the nations that compose the UK? Uh, So she got the first quick question wrong straight away. A Northern <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Correct. Oh my God. Let's just unpack this for a second. So she chose England, Wales, Scotland and Ireland. Forgetting that Ireland is not part of the UK. It's Northern Ireland that's part of the that's UK. That's what I meant. Yeah, it's right there. I actually didn't see that it said Northern Ireland there. To anybody who's taking their test this year, any GCSEs or anything, remember, always read the question and always read the answers before selecting. Remember NI, Northern Ireland, not Ireland. Wow. Hilarious. Lovely. Great start. Great start. <laughs> Just hide my face in shame. I should have I should have um, set my name as loser and an arrow <laughs> pointing down. You probably could have. What is the capital city of England? It's obviously Cardiff. It's, it's obviously yeah. Edinburgh. Edim, Edinburgh. Edim. <laughs> Never made this quiz. Wow. Incredible. Spelling on point. On um, point? Come on, you can come back, man. What's the capital city of Scotland? Scotland? <laughs> yeah, well, it's none of these, that's for sure. It's none of them. It's not none of them, yeah. <laughs> Edinburgh. Has anyone been to Edinburgh? <laughs> Does it exist? To be fair, the way how you're saying that sound actually sounds sounds like he's Scottish. <laughs> I think it's written. I think it's written in that way. For what reason? <laughs> What's the capital city of Wales? Oh, <laughs> these are this is so easy so far. Too easy. Except the first one. <laughs> <laughs> but some people, yeah. Oh God. Uh, give me your best normal Island accent. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Cannot do. I, I'm not one for accents. I had a feeling. <laughs> What's the most popular food in Britain? Wow, obviously. Yeah. Fish and chips, come on. Good old cotton chips, mate. <laughs> Fish and chips is the one though. Yeah. It's nice. Especially at the beach, on a hot day, even though it sounds weird having hot food, but. 
fish and chips. Oh, oh God. Okay, well, shocking. You got that? Can't believe it. <laughs> the, the river full. Um, yeah, fish and chips is definitely lovely on a, on a nice hot day. Yeah. Um, do you guys like it with salt and vinegar or just salt? Ketchup, salt and vinegar. Mayonnaise. Team salt and vinegar, come on. I'm just team no vinegar, just salt. That's nah, me. you got to have vinegar as well. With a little bit of tomato ketchup. Nah, no ketchup, nothing. <laughs> just salt and vinegar. <laughs> like no barbecue sauce, no ketchup, just salt and vinegar is the one. Uh, you should be faster than that one. You could have got more points. <laughs> Obviously, the tube, come on. In America, though, is it the Metro? Or for the American guys. What is the name of the typical British bus? Come on. Double decker. Two floors bus. <laughs> Has anybody had a double decker to chocolate bar before? I haven't seen those for a while. Oh, that's a good point. Not Never been into those though. Yeah, not a fan, not a fan. The famous Big Ben is the name of the... <gasps> the bow, wow. I got that wrong as well. So I, I chose the tower, Sorry, chose the clock, <laughs> but it's the bell. Wow. Does anyone know that one? What the hell? I thought it was just... Big Ben is called the bell. But... Wow. That is a bit confused. Well, I think a lot of people associate it to either the, the building or the, um, the clock. Yeah, indeed. Oh well. What is Madame Tussauds? So obviously, say. It's obviously a British film. You say, <laughs> say a British film. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, not Very doing too bad. Not doing too bad? Definitely more British Definitely than anything more else. more British, yeah. Come on. Which currency is used in Great Britain? Oh, I don't know oh, this. I don't know. Maybe rupees. Oh, rupees. Oh, let's go. Pounds. Let's go. I'm no. I'm no. I'm losing the pounds right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm very hungry. <laughs> Need some food. Um, <laughs> who lives in Ten Downing Street? Don't know. Some waste man. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Can we uh, more? <laughs> uh, you know what? You're doing very well. Except for the first question. Do you know the name of the British flag? Obviously, come on, the Union flag. <laughs> the Union blanket. <laughs> Union Jack. Obviously, it's called Jack. It's a very British name. Hey, Jack. I mean, I should win, be better at this one anyway than the Pakistan one because I've lived here my whole life. This is true. Where were the Beatles from? Where were the Beatles from? Do you know? I have absolutely no idea. I ah. do. They're from Liverpool. <laughs> They're from Liverpool. Go on, do a scouse and accent. What is this? From Liverpool. Is that is that good? I don't know. Anyone from Liverpool, don't judge me. Give I them tried. a rating out of 10 for that. <laughs> <laughs> from Liverpool. All right. Well, so you chose where? You chose Bath? Leeds. Leeds. Wow. Well, the, I, had no, I had no idea. So just to give you a little fun fact in case you're not aware, anybody at home not aware as well. Um, the airport in Liverpool is called the John Lennon Airport, who was like, the main guy from the Beatles. Um, I don't know his name. I've oh never well. listened to the Beatles. I've heard of the Beatles as a band, yeah. but I don't know about the individuals. Yeah, me too, to be fair, but um, I just pick stuff up along the way. Because you live in, in England, you just learn stuff about the culture. Just saying. I don't like <laughs> care about things I don't care about. So. I was, you was born and bred, just like me. Born and bred in the UK. According to the legend, what is the name of? This is a trick question, man. Which one is it? It's, it's one or two. Oh. And I selected the right one. Okay, so you selected Nestle. It's, that's one, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's Nessie. Again, correct. But how do you know? It could be, I don't know. I'm just taking it from the Ness. It's definitely Ness something. It was definitely, I know it was Nessie, but it could have been the Nessie spelt with a Y. But I didn't know it was Nessie. I don't oh. know what that is. Oh, wow. What so, is that? Let's give you guys a little lesson here so the lot next monster is basically there's like a myth of there's there's a monster that lives up in scotland in the in the rivers and the, and the seas up there um and it's actually a monster apparently has been spotted a few times um and it's called okay. a, it's called a Loch Ness. um so that's what it is essentially i've never heard of that but cool incredible all right cool <laughs> well it's part it's very big in british culture as you can see it's in this quiz <laughs> There you go then, I'm not that aware of the British culture either. Who is the author of Romeo and Juliet? Now you should definitely get this correct. Yes. 
Mr. Shakespeare. Art thou? Thou shall not. Whatever. Thou shall not get this incorrect. <laughs> and that's not Shakespeare, by the way. Um, in what book can you find the following quotation? To be or, or not, not to be, be that, that is the question. The question. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I have no idea, I'm guessing. Yes! I got it wrong. I got it wrong. What did you choose? Otello? I chose Otello even though it's spelled completely wrong because it's a fellow. Um, so I should have knew. Cool. Well, you got some points back there. You might catch Still me up. Still losing. Just 32 I'm... questions. Who wrote Oliver Twist? Give me some more. <laughs> that's, mm. that's where that's from, right? Is that, is that from Oliver Twist, right? Um, so obviously this person. I think I got that. Ooh, right. <laughs> Charles Dickens. Cool, started on a streak. Well done, catching up. Not you, doing too bad. You're warming up. Though, it's, it's time to come back. When is Boxing Day? When is the Boxing Day? It's every day. How about that? How about that? Jokes. All right, cool. Doing well. Doing very well. Let's go. Doing not too bad. What is the name of the primary residence of the Queen? The Queen. Well, that's not hard. Buckingham Palace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool. What is the name of the British monarch? Okay, this is obviously Queen Victoria. <laughs> Queen Mary. Elizabeth II. Yeah. Not the first. Oh, the first. Street Six. Screw. <laughs> Smashing it. Twenty-three or thirty-two. Let's go. Who is the patron saint of England? Oh, it's obvious. This is easy, man. Oh, no. I actually don't know what this is. Oh, it's one of two. It's one of two. And I'm have... no, out. No, it's one. I got it. Well done. St. George. St. George's Day. Always a big thing in the UK. People out of the pub drinking. Not me, though. Um. <laughs> you know what? Let's go. What is the most famous lake in Scotland? Hmm. Well, it's pretty obvious. It's Based like, on the previous question, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Loch Ness Monster. Cool. Which ancient monument would you find on a Salisbury Plain? Well, um, this is very easy. Like, this should be an instant answer from you. It's in the picture. <laughs> the Stonehenge. I know, I was reading the question like, what? Wow. <laughs> the Stonehenge. Can anybody in the comments tell me what is the Stonehenge. I've been there before, but it's a bit of a myth as how it how it got created, why is it there, what's the reason for it? Does anybody actually know? Who cares? <laughs> Some people do, historians. What is the name of London's most famous bridge? Oof. Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben Bridge. Tower Bridge. Very creative name. It's got towers on it. All right. <laughs> We're nearly there. What Question is the name 27. of this typical British sport? Huh? What? It's definitely not a typical bro sport. Uh, I'm not sure about typical, I agree, but it is. Apparently cricket was, was no, it's not, it wasn't created in, in England to be fair. I don't think, I can't remember. I mean, it's definitely not typical, like, it's not oh, worded correctly. Yeah, I'm not sure it's typical, but it's played <laughs> every now and then. Yeah. What is the name of the famous Scottish skirt? Oh, easy one. It's a kilt. Lovely. Still like 2,000 behind you. It's yellow, obviously. Come obviously on. Obviously, America. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that the black is, is in, in the yellow and then nearly clicked. Yeah. The wrong one. <laughs> cool. Couple questions to go. Let's go. Two more to go. Can she come back? Three. What is the name? of the most expensive store in London. Come on. Woolworths, come on. It's obviously Macy's. <laughs> which is not in the UK, it's in London. In America, sorry. Lovely. Dun, dun, dun. Two to go. 31. Ben Nevis is... Ooh. I'm pretty certain it was a... Um... I thought it was an island, right? It's a mountain. Oh, I got that. <gasps> I got that wrong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what, does this, what does this mean for the score? Let's see. Drum roll. I bet it's still on top though. Drum roll. Oh, it's Ooh. 
very close. One question to go. There was a 2,000 gap and now it's one, about 1,000. Let's go. It all comes down to this. Final What's question. The... Oh no. Well, game over. Let's see where we end up on the podium. <laughs> British culture in third place. We have nobody. <laughs> With 28 out of 20, 32. Not bad. Very British. And 29 out of 32. We have T. Yes. Wow. That's me. So I got four wrong on the British one and four wrong on the Jamaican one. But I got like, what, 11 wrong on the Pakistan one. Wow. Wow, <laughs> wow indeed. So I'm definitely more British, which I knew that was going to happen because yeah. like, yeah, I'm just not. I don't know, I guess I don't embrace the Pakistani culture as much. But to be fair, like, I have lived here my whole life. Not really been to Pakistan that much. And Yeah. <laughs> On the flip side of that, obviously, I got, I done well in all quizzes. Yeah, um, <laughs> same here. I was born and bred in the UK. Um, only been to Jamaica twice in my life. But I guess I'm somebody that's, that just likes to soak up different cultures and backgrounds. I just like to, to learn. I like to know um, things. So I guess that's why I done well on all three quizzes. Um, but what have you learned today? Tell me oh. something that you learned, something new. <laughs> I'm just trying to think back now. <laughs> um, On the spot. Oh, I can't remember what the question was now. About Pakistan being the seventh... Oh, what was it? Something about scientists. Yeah, about the seventh, like with the most scientists and engineers. Yeah. I was quite surprised about that because I thought it would have been... I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, thinking back. <laughs> but at the time, I was like, no, they can't be. But Hindsight is a hell of a thing, yeah, that's for sure. Is. Yeah. I guess I uh, underestimated my mother country. <laughs> well, you live and you learn. Live and you learn. But hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you learned some things along the way. Yep, we had a lot of fun and we definitely Indeed. learned quite a bit. So yes. hopefully you did too. Yes. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Like, comment, subscribe and all of that. <laughs>